Here are a few makeup steps you may not be doing to achieve a flawless skin-like makeup look. First, I like to moisturize my face on my clear skin. I focus on my under eye area before I go to the rest of my face. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Solange. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Sunscreen is very, very important because you have to protect your skin. I like to use a minimum of SPF 50. Then I'm going in with my blade to just groom my brows and give it a more defined shape shape next i'm going to use my primer i'm using the pore minimizer i'm not going heavy on the primer because it's just a light look then i go in with my foundation as you can see i'm using my fingertip to just spread out the product all over my face it's going to be a skin like look so i do not like to use so much product i just used one pump and i'm spreading it out then i'm going in with my staple brush to blend that out nicely and evenly all over my skin next i'm going in with my beauty blender to make sure that product stays put and then further sinks into my skin now i'm going to highlight with my foundation if you like to use a concealer please go ahead to do that but for this purpose i'm using my foundation as you can see i'm using minimal product it was just one pump and i'm just spreading it all over the face like so then i'm going to go in with my beauty blender to just blend out the product and make sure it sits right into my skin the lesser the product the closer to skin this allows an easier and effortless blend just make sure you place your product right because placement is key now i'm going to go into low light low light here is a process of contouring where i use a darker shade of foundation around the corners of my nose bridge my forehead and underneath my cheekbone and sometimes the jawline basically around my t-zone area then i'm going to go in with my beauty blender to blend this in nicely and make sure everything is giving skin honey as you can see i'm maintaining my complexion next i'm going to set the areas that i highlighted using my loose setting powder and my triangle powder puff i like to use this triangle powder puff because it packs the product exactly where it should be and it gives this airbrush like finishing i then proceed to set the rest of my face using my powder brush with some powder on it just to smoothen out everything and give a natural blend using a darker shade of powder i'm going to set and enhance my facial features by applying this product around the corners of my t-zone area then i go ahead to blend in properly with my powder brush i'm going to chisel out my contour using my triangle powder puff under my cheekbones like so Next, I'm adding some warmth and color to my face using my blush. Let's get into this brows, shall we? First, I'm going to brush up my brows so I can see the hair and the space I'm working with. And I'm going to go ahead to draw out my brow outline going under and the top of my brows and just straighten it out lightly. Remember, you have to be light-handed and I'm doing upward strokes starting from the front and then doing the strokes into the brows just to fill up the spaces. If you notice, I'm not exactly shading in I want my brows to look as natural as possible so I'm repeating the same process on my other brow drawing out the outline doing light upward strokes and then filling in the spaces remember to brush out the excess product on your brows to give your brow a natural look then I'm going to highlight my brows using a lighter shade of foundation and I'm going to focus that lighter shade under the arch of my brows and then just blend that right in notice I'm using very minimal products this allows blending to be very easy and because i'm going for a natural look this makes it easier i'm tracing the top of my brows with the exact shade of my foundation and then i'm going to go in with my brow gel brush up the brow hairs these are the eyeshadow palettes i'm working with follow me on my ltk store to shop the look i'm going ahead to prep my eyelids for the eyeshadow application using my eyeshadow primer as the base for my transition color i'm using a dark brown shade from my eyeshadow palette and just applying it to the crease I'm blending that in then i proceed to apply my bronzy shimmers to the rest of my eyelid guys let me spill the tea on this one if you want your eye makeup to pop take some of that product to your fingertip and press on your eyelid trust me it would 
pop try this and let me know how it goes to make my eyes pop i'm going to outline my eyes using my black gel liner on my waterline after that i go slightly above my lash line outline my eyes and i go towards the outer corner of my eyes draw out my wing take the top of my wing and connect to the liner on my lash line using a flat brush dark brown eyeshadow i'm smudging out my waterline to add more depth to my eyes grab your mascara and carefully apply your mascara to your lashes for the most natural lip combo i'm going in with my lip palette using my dark brown i'm going ahead to outline the top of my lip and the bottom of my lip and i'm going in with this light pink peachy shade and just blending that right in it almost is the same color of my lip i love this combo so much because it just enhances the color of my lips now we're going in to apply our full lashes grab your lash glue apply it on the lash band once that dries a little tacky i place the lashes in the middle of my lash line first before i go into pressing the outer corner and then the inner corner it's honestly so beautiful how the four lashes elevate your eyes real quick next i'm applying my highlighter i love this highlighter because it gives this fresh useful glow and just gives the illusion of a dewy skin but not dewy it's not dry it's not matte it just glows and it radiates this is one of the best ways i love to use my fenty beauty highlighter and then i go into the inner corner of my eyes just to add a little shine i'm adding a slight burnt orange lipstick in the middle of my lip and just patting that in and applying my gloss drum rolls voila finished look is giving skin natural and glam at the same time let me know if you're going to try this look don't forget to share like and subscribe also let me know what you like to see next in the comment section until next time bye bye